Masha's spooky stories. So, are any of you afraid of insects? Who shivers when they see a spider? Who runs from a dragonfly? Now I'm going to tell you a spooky story, which happened to a girl called Anyuta. Listen very carefully and tremble. Anyuta was very afraid of all kinds of bugs. When she saw a moth, she immediately hid under the table. Oh, poor me! When she saw an ant, she immediately climbed the tree. Oh, poor me! One time, when her younger brother, Bafa, went for a walk, Anyuta's mother asked her to help clean the house. Anyuta, get the vacuum cleaner from the closet and vacuum the carpet in the living room. But Anyuta couldn't go to the closet. There was a spider spinning perfectly its web. Anyuta opened the door slowly. A horrible fear ran up and down her spine. It was pitch dark inside the closet. Beware! How could she get the vacuum from there? Walking through a spider web is not for me. I'll find the vacuum by touch, that's it. Anyuta cautiously opened the closet door a bit wider so that the spider wouldn't notice her and started taking out everything she could without looking. First, she got her father's ski, then took out a globe, and then she felt an electric cord. So she pulled it out. And instead of getting the vacuum cleaner from the closet, a broken lamp, an ironing board, and an old bicycle without a front wheel fell on her. Oh, said her mom, it seems we have buried treasure in the closet, but not a vacuum cleaner. Then go to the kitchen and take out the garbage. Oh, please not the garbage. There's a cockroach. It's scared and has long feelers. It will eat our girl in a second, pat its belly, and burp with content. Mustering all the courage she might have left, Anyuta decided to do the following. I will grab the garbage and run quickly, then the cockroach won't be able to eat me. Anyuta grabbed the full bin, rushed to the door, and behind her, there was a terrible crunch and a horrible screech. On the stools, chairs, and tables, all around the kitchen, the garbage started falling out of the bucket. Well now, said her mom, if you don't want to take out the garbage, go to the balcony and water the flowers. Balcony? The word makes me cry. For all their lives, a huge butterfly. It's scarier than a spider and cockroach. And because it can fly, it will attack from above, from the left and the right. And there's no way I can win. Okay, back to the flowers, as quietly as possible. Maybe I'll fight back with the watering can. Anyuta started watering the flowers. And the scary butterfly started flapping its gigantic wings. The girl rushed to one corner of the balcony and hit two flower pots. She rushed to the other corner and lost the watering can. She ran back inside and hid under the table. Puddles of water and dirt are everywhere on the balcony. Many things from the closet and garbage are all over. I'm wondering who did all this mess. Who, the butterfly, the cockroach, the spider? Her mom sighed sadly and cleaned up the balcony. She gathered up the garbage and vacuumed the carpet. At that time, Fafka, Anuta's brother, came home and went to her right away. Look at this beautiful ladybug I have. Do you want to pet it? Uh, aren't you afraid of it? Asked Anuta. Of course not. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Look how tiny it is, and look at me. I'm big and strong, said her little brother. And then Anyuta understood. Creepy crawlings and other scary bugs only seem dangerous to us, my good friends. They're a bit smaller than the size of a safety pin. We're a thousand 
thousand times bigger. There's no reason to shiver. 